we're going to combine with computers. They're going to make it smarter. And that's already happening. I mean, you know, if, if I use this, okay, it's not connected to me. I do actually lose it sometimes, but uh, it generally makes us smarter. That's true. Yeah. And, and I could not, we could not do our work today mm -hmm. if we didn't have uh, these different types of brain extenders. And we do work, we do work today uh, that we couldn't do it all even 10 years ago. And we, and we do it now because we have these brain extenders. Mm -hmm. We're going to combine our neocortex, uh, which is not expanding, uh, with uh, non-biological intelligence through the web. The neocortex exists in levels, it's different levels, and it's really the top level that has the most sophisticated ideas. It's also uh, organized in a diagonal, so the top level is actually the smallest, and that's the level that we need to be able to access, to be able to figure out what's going on in that level. And there's some things going on. Elon Musk has a neural link, mm -hmm. which I don't think that's the answer, but this is only 2020 and not 2030. So uh, I think by the early 2030s, we'll be able to uh, actually merge the top level of our neocortex uh, with artificial intelligence. Once you do that, mm -hmm. Uh, there's no limit. And so ultimately, uh, the amount of intelligence that we're, co that we're connecting to is going to be far greater than the intelligence we have in our brains. And, and that's an invention of, 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 uh, of humans uh, to create artificial intelligence, and that will then uh, combine with our own intelligence to be that much more inventive.